a very warm welcome to everyone i hope you all are doing good so as we all know that the cat result is already out and the students who've scored really good first of all a very 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 best of luck for your future second thing for all the students who are awaiting calls from iams for their gd and their interview round please don't be worried it is the time for you to start preparing for it second thing it is the time when i am getting most of the queries regarding the profile building now what is profile building how does it matter and how will you be getting evaluated on it it's all that i'm going to talk about today so let's get started but before that please do like share and subscribe and please do make the best out of this video so let's get started how important is your profile for mba colleges now most of the students do come to me and ask me the same question why because they are unclear about the fact that what is a profile what comprises of a profile and how will they be evaluated on whatsoever they've done in the past right whatsoever activity they've participated whatsoever they've studied how will how can one be evaluated on that is their major question so today in this video i'll be trying to solve all your doubts right so that you don't have any doubts in the future and you're satisfied with whatsoever you've learned very first thing the parameters under consideration which are taken care of while evaluating a, an individual in whenever it comes to their profile let's see so the cat score is the very first thing your overall percentile score obtained in the cat exam is the primary thing right you cannot miss on it you cannot say that if i haven't scored well i'll be i'll be able to compensate on it you won't be able to right so this is the primary thing that will be seen that is your cat score second your class 10 score the aggregate percentage scored in class 10 or equivalent right the aggregate score you cannot say best of 4 you cannot say best of 5 it will be the aggregate of whatsoever you've scored in class 10 same goes for class 12 score the aggregate percentage scored in class 12 or equivalent now most of the people do come and ask ma'am will it be best of 4 will it be best of 5 it will be the aggregate guys please do remember that the graduation score so the aggregate percentage obtained in 3 year 4 year or a degree course or equivalent it doesn't matter which degree you've done right it doesn't matter from where you've done it doesn't matter whether you've spent 3 years whether you've spent 4 years you've spent 5 years or 6 years in that case your aggregate score is what is evaluated here right now next your online personal interview so now each candidate's performance in personal interview is assessed and mark, marks are allotted accordingly theek hai you will be given marks in the activities here i should rather write pi vat gd gt right so this is how i can write it right i hope it is clear that all these activities do carry marks now it may depend from college to college that which activity do they engage the students in right next thing academic diversity now this is something that the students don't get at first but here i have already mentioned it that what does academic diversity mean candidates from non engineering backgrounds are given extra points to ensure fair representation of students from other streams the point of academic diversity varies for each campus now it basically depends from campus to campus now most of the people do come to me and ask me that ma'am why is it that the engineers get seats in the top iams or why is it that non engineers can get the same amount of marks or they get evaluated in the same way as the engineers are evaluated or in that case any particular stream students are evaluated right so you need to understand this thing that your graduation doesn't really matter but there is a process wherein they'll have to you know settle a standard they'll have to manage a standard wherein all the people from different streams from different courses are brought to the same pedestrian right so this is something that you need to remember next parameters under consideration the next parameter which is of concern for many students is the gender diversity right you know that there might be certain seats reserved for uh, a different different category of candidates in that case gender diversity might also be a criteria 
but here the iams give extra points to female or the transgender candidates to encourage fair representation of each gender this point of gender diversity vary from campus to campus now you cannot say that iam ahmedabad is not giving them let's say this is just an example right that iam ahmedabad is not giving them representation how can i am xyz give them representation you cannot doubt them or you you cannot question them right this may vary from campus to campus right next your work experience now for all the professionals out there who have put in so much of their hard work in preparing and taking out extra time from the daily routine they should remember that they are given extra points from 1 to 5 to all the candidates who have work experience right second thing for this a range is defined from lowest to highest the points of work experience vary vary from each campus the points may vary from campus to campus but this is how you are evaluated on the work experience that you hold and work experience does count right one question that most of the students who ask me that ma'am does work experience count it does count but it doesn't make a major shift to the entire result of yours because there are so many factors that are considered while compiling the entire score so let's just move ahead now how can you spark your profile most of the students who ask me ma'am what is a good profile how do we manage our profile how can we actually enhance our profile so here are certain things that you can add on into your profile or you can work on right first thing first is work experience see guys it is not mandatory that you have to take a work experience even a fresher can score 99.97 percentile or 98 percentile and be the topper so there is no need for you to have a work experience but for those who already are working it will count as i have already mentioned next internships see if you have done some internships they may also be counted so you should do some internships in your graduation itself next certificates some major certificates for example if you've represented your uh, college in a particular uh, event if you've uh, participated in certain debates if you participated in such activities if you are a sports person so such certificates will help you guys also there are categories for example there are sports persons category in a particular college wherein seats will be reserved for you and you will have to check it as per the criteria of that particular college in which you are going to apply to right so you have to check that next thing languages see languages do count why because see some colleges might give you marks on the basis of the fact that you are so well versed with so many languages there are people who know four to five languages and this adds on to your profile right so this is something that you can work on next thing extra curricular activities be it dance be it poetry or anything that is recognized is something that actually adds on to your profile and otherwise also it shows that you are a multi talented person next publish research papers see research papers which are published are auth authentic sources of the fact that you've done something right or you've achieved something so this is something that can actually leave a very good impact and can and can actually help you get good marks in the pi as well next soft skill courses for example certain courses related to communication certain courses related to your soft skill managements these things will actually help you get good marks right the evaluator might feel that he is a person who has done a lot in his graduation and that to at a very young age which is a big deal that is why he gives you extra marks again webinars seminars and conferences again this is something that you can use to enhance your profile so the next slide talks about a very important topic it discusses the importance of a good profile so let's see what are the importance of a good profile the very first thing is can compensate an average academic profile see let's see uh, there are two candidates candidate a has scored 60% in class 10th and 80% in class 12th and there is candidate b who has scored 95% in class 10th and 95% in class 12th so definitely somewhere or the other it shows that this person that is b is good in academics right so how will you compensate on the score that ex, uh, that extra score which he will be getting in his profile see what you can do is that here if you've done any extra curricular activities or you've participated in some sports this is what can help you compensate on the score that he is getting extra in the academic front right now moving ahead helps you introspect and understand more about yourself see once you've already submitted the or once you've already made a profile for yourself just go through it right 
after going through the profile you need to understand that these are the points that you've mentioned right and just think about those points only and make sure you talk about those points only right next helps the interviewer know you better see how do you expect that a completely uh, a, a complete stranger can know you see he will read your profile and then only ask you questions right so your profile has to be such that reflects what kind of a person are you right what all good things have you done and what all uh, good habits do you have right so that is what is written here that your profile will help the interviewer know you better right so you need to mention all the good points about you all the xyz good things you've done and all the xyz good uh, good participation or good results that you've brought right last thing seek the attention of the interviewer in a pi one thing that you need to remember here is that if you want to seek the attention of the interviewer let's say if you want that the interviewer should say that he is a good candidate you need to understand that you need to put in certain points that will grab his attention right and that is how you can score better in this particular front right now that was all about the entire profile building video right so i hope that now most of the students are clear as to how a good profile can help you how to compensate on a bad or a poor academic background also how can you build your profile if you are looking after your career in management right so these were all the points that you can actually think of and to all those who are awaiting calls from different different iams they know what all to mention whenever they are filling their forms or whenever they are writing about themselves or are asked to write about themselves right so this is how your uh, your profile helps you out so i hope it is clear to everyone and i hope that i was able to solve all your doubts still if any doubts are left you can write in the chat box itself and if you feel that the video was useful to you please do like it share it amongst your friends and do subscribe to the channel guys i'll be back with more such content till then bye bye take care